What I would like to see in our church ministry is something for our seniors. And one of the things that I look forward to having in the future for our seniors is an elevator. Many times we have many functions in our church and they have to make the task of going up and down stairwell, which is probably I say about four or five flights of stairs. We have a lot of seniors that have arthritis, problems with their knees. So it would be so beneficial to all those elderly people and that would make a dream come true for here and our Family First Center as well. Um, our second thing that I would like to also see is implementing a parking garage. It would be really nice maybe that some way or another that we could end up getting the 800 building over there and um, attaching that maybe to the church where we can go ahead and have more parking. I know many Sundays, if I'm kind of running behind time, I spend an ex extra 15 minutes trying to find parking in the parking lot. So that would be very beneficial to our church as we continue to grow because we know that God is going to give us more members and so we are going to need more parking in the future. One of my things that I see and that I've been praying for for probably over five years or more is actually um, giving to our JIC, JIC and helping um, in the future running our summer camp um, more than just one week but hopefully in the future where it can be a whole summer long project. In order to do that, we need the means to be able to make that possible. And some of the means that would make that possible is actually getting staffing as far as maybe hopefully seeing that we can be able to pick the kids up in the neighborhood. Some of these kids come from all different um, cities, towns, communities. So we can provide transportation to get them here, maybe transportation to get them back home, bus drivers, we also would need more staffing. If we can staff our teachers, give them a stipend to actually pay them, where a lot of times most of our teachers are, most of our people are volunteer. So if, if there was any means where we can get the money to fund it, where we can actually pay personnel to come in and help this camp run effectively from our kitchen staff, where we can be able to get the means to provide food for them throughout the whole summer months. Um, also, like I said, getting teachers, getting um, classroom helpers, getting programs in here as far as different sporting things that we can do for them, taking them swimming, different things like that. But the only way we can do that effectively is having the resources. And the resources can come with, within our church members, donations within the means to help us make this a goal that we see for our future and our future children because these are the next people that's gonna be a part of our next generation as lawyers, teachers, and different things to give back to our church. And so we need to produce that seed to make that happen. Many times over the summer, our kids are latchkey kids with nothing to do because either a parent don't have the means to afford it. And I'm not for sure if you ever checked or had any children, neighbors and stuff, the cost is so high that many people can't afford to do anything for their children during the summer months. So that is my goal and my vision. I think um, being able to give these kids activities and to keep their minds, um, not just having a camp, a lot of these camps turn into a babysitting place, but um, with our JIC camp, I think doing all the educational classes and being able to enrich the kids' lives and help with um, test scores, when they get ready to return back to school because we do do education things is also is having them um, be able to um, get out and um, meet different kids that's not from their regular area and just impact their lives a in a Christian way because we do prayer and different things of that nature and so I think that will build our future you know it takes a um, village to raise a child.